the dreaded before of my kids playroom and let me see if I can get a sneak peek at the closet in the closet we have like a toy box which is full of stuff and this basket is full more baskets Barbies all kinds of junk and this playroom is going to get a complete clean out makeover like literally I should probably get rid of like 80% of all this stuff honestly I feel like it's just about simple how much stuff my kids have and as bad as this looks believe it or not last night my daughter had a sleepover and her and her friend decided to start cleaning and they spent quite a bit of time in here working so imagine it being even worse than this I know that's probably hard to imagine, but it actually was. So I'm gonna clean it, I'm gonna organize it, and I'm gonna take y'all along with me. And we're gonna do a massive, massive clean out. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then you are in for a good video today, as I'm gonna be taking you along with me while I clean out the playroom. As you can see here, it is completely out of control and out of hand, and it's gotten way too far past the point of return, but it's time for me to take it on, head on, and get it organized and get it cleaned. And also, while my kids are gone, I'm gonna be going through all of these toys, and we're going to be donating toys and getting rid of things that honestly, they don't need. Clearly, they have way too much. So, I hope you're excited for this video today as I take you along with me and we organize the playroom and I'm going to show you how I get some massive cleaning done and provide some good motivation for y'all, especially if you have a playroom or just an area where your kids keep their toys too. I hope this motivates you to get that cleaned out and organized and taken care of. So, let's get into it. So the first thing that I like to do is create piles and I'm separating everything out so that it makes sense. I didn't want to go around the room and work on the toys against the wall first since everything was already pulled out. I figured it would be better just to go ahead and start sorting through the things that they had out. So I'm trying to make sense of all of this mess so that I can start to clean. Sometimes you feel like you have to clean before you can clean. Well, this is kind of how I felt right now. I had to get it a little bit under control before I could actually begin organizing. So I know it doesn't really look like it, but believe it or not, I have separated that massive pile that was in the center into three separate piles. And basically what I've got going on is I have like stuffed animals here. I have baby dolls here. And then this situation is like a hodgepodge of baby doll clothes, Barbie doll clothes, and just some other kind of little toys that I need to sort through. I feel like this is kind of the point where I get to when I stop and I look back and I'm like, okay, it's basically organized mass chaos. And I'm kind of feeling a little bit overwhelmed and I'm not sure what to do next to get past that point. So I'm just taking a little break to kind of look back and reevaluate. I think I might just kind of skip over this and jump to the books and stuff back there and start organizing that. Sometimes when you have something as big as this where the playroom is just so much junk and it's gotten so bad, you have to stop and take a minute and just take that break and you know look at it from far back versus being all up in the middle of it to try to figure out where you're gonna go next because otherwise I find myself just kind of moving things around versus getting stuff done. So that's what I'm gonna do right now and then when I figure out what I'm gonna do next, then I'll get back to it. So I decided to take my own advice and I started with the books. I sat down and I tried to organize the books that we had here in this basket. My children actually have a lot more books than just seen here. We also have some in the dresser and there's another basket that they have full of them. 
and I've wanted to do like a bookshelf but I'm not quite sure how I want to go about that I can't decide if I want to like build one and attach it to the wall somewhere or if I want to buy a new one I haven't decided on that so y'all let me know in the comments if you have any recommendations or if you have like a cute bookshelf that your kids like that you would love to share with me that you think would be good in this space because I'm honestly open to any and all options at this point but I really think that it's super important to have the books in the playroom because I mean yeah they love the toys and of course we have the TV for movies but obviously I would love them to sit down and read books because I think that that is beneficial but honestly as a child I can't say that I sat down and read a book too many times in my playroom but anyways wishful thinking right so I'm organizing the books I like to organize them if we have any like seasonal books as far as like Christmas books or Halloween books um, anything like that I'll put those together and then other than that I try to keep like chapter books and maybe base them off the size so that they feel fit in the baskets well and then once I finished that I was just kind of moving things around getting it in order so I could continue working in the space and again trying to decide what to do next I'm just kind of throwing stuff around and we're moving on to the dresses <laughs> So we have like a million princess dresses. Well, not really a million, but it feels like it. And it probably looks like it to you. But my children, they love to play dress up. And so we have collected them. One fun fact, if you have a little girl and she loves to play dress up too, but you don't want to pay big money for these dresses at Halloween or after Halloween when like Walmart and you know your Halloween stores mark down their costumes that is when you can truly rack up on these things and my children have so many outfits that we have collected from those sales over the years but of course it's time to pull them out and get rid of like duplicates or ones that have been worn down and just messed up and that aren't feasible anymore so we're doing that now pulling them out as you can see we have doubles and that's not necessary <laughs> so yeah we're cleaning and organizing the dress ups trying to get it put together with what makes sense and what looks good and then the rest of them I will probably donate as long as they're not too raggedy like I don't want to donate stuff that I feel like has holes and just looks terrible because if it's not going to be able to be used I don't think that that's fair so I am donating things that I think looks good that other little girls deserve to have also. And I'm trying to decide really where I want to donate this stuff to. But all in all right now, my main goal is to get it out of this playroom and out of my house. Because it's just a little bit too congested for me. Once I had all the dresses done, I organized other accessories like their aprons or hats or just shoes and things. We actually have like these hooks on the side of the um, little princess dress up hanging thing situation we have here. And I feel like it's really handy for these accessories so I was organizing that also. And then um, I have a small basket that I have like their dress up shoes and stuff that I went through as well. Once I finished that, it looked so much better and I was able to move on to some other things. So I kind of shifted gears, went to the opposite side of the room and started picking up some things on the floor over here. Again, I was still trying to put things into piles and make it make sense. When things are so unorganized as it is right now, it's really hard to make it make sense. But if you do a little bit at a time and do the best you can, eventually you get to the point where you can start to see a breakthrough. You start to feel like your hard work is paying off. 
But all in all, y'all, stick around because at the end of this video, you're gonna see how much of an improvement this playroom made by me cleaning it out. Like, it doesn't even look like the same room. I cannot wait to show y'all. So we have this like three drawer plastic um, organizer that I found from Walmart. I really like it because they make all different sizes and we happened to find one in pink which was perfect for my girls. But these organizers are just extra little storage spaces for the small toys. I don't know the purpose of all these teeny tiny little toys other than for it to drive me absolutely insane and for us to lose half the pieces but anyways. Here I am again trying to make sense of it and organize it and throwing away about 90% of it because my kids are gone and that's the best way I know how to handle this situation. But anywho, if you need some type of organizing system for the toys in your playroom or just an area, check out Walmart because these little plastic drawers are like the perfect organizing systems and I love them and also bonus the fact that it has wheels on it and I can just push it around and move it to different areas. I love, love, love that feature. Okay, this was the point in the project where I was getting tired and just about over it, so I had to call it a night. I had already cleaned for about three hours and it was just past my bedtime. So I decided to stop for the night, go to bed, and I resume the next day, which you will see coming up. This is actually two days worth of filming because it definitely took me that long to clean the playroom. I mean, come on, y'all. You saw how bad it was. Anyways, keep watching. All right, it is day two of the playroom clean out. And if you hear some noise in the background, that would be my husband. He's outside with the dump trailer and a tractor cleaning off all of the junk and debris that was left after we built the house that has sat there for over a year. And he actually thinks that I'm still asleep, which I'm gonna let him think that because I don't wanna get pulled to that project. I've got other things to handle like this playroom. So again, like I said, it's day two. Last night I just kinda had to stop. It was too much, it was getting really late and it was to the point where I was just moving things around. I wasn't really accomplishing anything. And so I stopped and I'm gonna to resume today with all intentions of finishing today and getting this done, especially since my kids are not home. And as a mother, you know that is the perfect opportunity to get rid of some toys that they hadn't played with and that they don't need. So let's get to it. I decided to start today off with this kitchen. I love the fact that my girls have a play kitchen. I think it is one of the cutest little toys that a child could have. I love watching them play the like, house and they like to make things for me and it's so cute. What I don't love about the kitchen stuff is the constant losing of the small pieces of food and the spatulas and it's like, how do we make sense of this? How can I organize this to a point where they will continue to upkeep that? Because honestly, I've done this several times. I've organized the food and put them in little baggies and labeled them and all of the things that make it look so great when you get done. But the reality is my four-year-old and my nine-year-old do not care and they don't keep it clean like that. So I decided to skip that today and save my sanity and I just kind of organized it and put it away in the best way I knew how. And honestly, again, I threw away about 95% of these little toys and stuff in their kitchen that they just didn't need. And then I moved on to the dresser. This dresser actually used to be in my oldest daughter's bedroom in our old house. And she didn't want it in her room. We actually did a new bedroom suit when we moved here. So I felt like that dresser was going to fit perfectly in the playroom. And it has worked out wonderfully. So I store movies, books board games, you know, all kinds of things like that in here, and it's it's amazing. If you have a playroom and you're looking for something for storage for stuff like that, I highly recommend trying that because it works out perfect. 
Okay, everybody, this is what we're working with. I have finally narrowed it down to piles that you can actually see separation between. We can see carpet, which is like amazing. So I didn't think that time would ever come. I have gone through this dresser here. I like to put movies in there and board games and things like that. I just feel like it's a good place to store stuff like that. And then I've gone through the kitchen and organized that. I actually think I'm gonna move the kitchen maybe over here, but whenever I get everything cleaned out, then I'll figure out where I wanna put stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and go through the pile of baby dolls and the pile of stuffed animals and kind of figure out between these two things and then the remaining toys, what toys we want to donate because we don't need these many toys. We should never have gotten to this point. And honestly, me and my husband don't hardly buy toys for our kids. This is stuff that grandparents have given or Santa Claus or from birthday parties. Like it's just gotten way out of hand. So it's definitely time to go through and donate. So that's what I'm about to start doing next. Um, and then I'm gonna move to the closet, which I hope it's not that terribly bad, but they do have a toy box in there that has to be pulled out and gone through as well. So I feel like I'm getting close, but I'm just trying not to flip back and keep moving forward and get this done, especially since my kids are still gone and I have to get this done before they get home. So let's get back to it. As I said, I am going to donate a lot of these toys. I love the opportunity to give back to others because I feel like that God has blessed my family so much. And so anytime we get a chance to help somebody else, I try to do that. Also, I love to get my kids involved. I know I've cleaned out a lot of their playroom without them here. But when it comes to the donating part, I will have them involved because it makes them feel happy to know that they gave to somebody else. And I'm also trying to teach them the importance of giving back to others as well. So I'm trying to find a family in need around here that needs toys or just anything like that that we can give to donate or like a local charity around here. We used to give to Goodwill, but honestly, I've gotten to the point where I would rather give to either somebody individually or like I said, a local charity. So that's kind of what I'm preparing for here. And just as I thought it couldn't get any worse, I open up the door to the closet where they have three other toy boxes full of junk. So I went through all that and also you can't really see it with this angle, but I have this organizer, which later in the video, I'll show it to you and talk you through it and kind of explain it. I feel like it's genius. I started doing this at our old house when we didn't have hardly any storage and I needed to find something functional to put their toys in, especially Barbies. But essentially it is a shoe rack that you hang and I stick the Barbies inside of it because it's a good place to display them and prevents them from falling at the end of a toy box and getting all kind of matted up and just dingy looking, which actually our Barbies look like that anyways. But this system that I have found to help organize really does work and it looks a lot better. I'm at the point in the Playroom Project where I am reminded why I've put this off for so long. And now I've laid down, which is your first mistake when you're cleaning. Don't stop because then you don't want to finish. And that's where I'm at. I don't want to finish, but I'm so close to being done. I think, like, basically all I have to do is put the stuff where it belongs and vacuum. And then I'm pretty much done. Other than, like, hauling off the stuff, which is the worst part. I'll probably drive around with for weeks with all of the toys in my car until I take it somewhere to donate, but I'm almost finished. So I'm so close to the finish line. I'm gonna push through and I'm gonna get done so I can show y'all what it looks like because it is so much better. Y'all, we are finally so close to the finish line. I cannot believe it. Like, you can see carpet in here, and I'm at the point where I'm actually putting things away in their own spot, and it makes me so, so excited to finally be just about done. So, I'm taking the things now. I've pretty much figured out what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to give away and what I'm going to throw away. 
as you can see here i think you can see maybe three of the big garbage bags y'all i had six of those dudes like completely jam-packed full of just junk that we have gotten rid of and it feels so good anyways i'm putting away the baby dolls now that we are keeping i have like baskets to put them in instead of like toy boxes because I want them to be able to be where my daughter can kind of see them so that they don't get forgotten so she'll actually play with them. I found that that does help. But then once I got all of the toys put away in baskets, I finally was able to vacuum. I think I've mentioned this before, but for me, vacuuming is very therapeutic. I love seeing the clean lines in the carpet. I love just focusing on what I'm doing. And once I get to the point that I'm vacuuming, I feel like I really am at the very end of completing my project because at this point, once I'm done vacuuming, I can just rearrange the furniture, which you'll see here that I decided to do and get it exactly how I like it. And it's just about done. So stay tuned. Y'all are gonna be completely amazed at the final end of this project. Like I said, I did decide to kind of rearrange the furniture in here. I do this quite frequently, actually. I try to mix it up because the kids like it when you mix it up. It makes them feel like they actually have something new, even if they don't. And I like it too. I can just kind of experiment with the space and figure out what, what I like and what I don't like. So I moved the kitchen down to this side of the dresser. And then also I decided to do something that I haven't done before. I took the dress up thing and I decided to move it directly in front of the window. I was worried at first. I thought it would take away like from the sunshine and kind of make the area dark, but it doesn't at all. Like there's plenty of room for the sunshine to still shine through. And I really like this because with it this angle, it's like you can see the dresses head on versus from the side. And so the kids like it too. So I like this setup over here. And then I decided to move the three drawer plastic storage system kind of to this little corner nook and that worked out good all in all like the way i choose to set up the furniture i want it to be functional but also cute i guess you would say but i like to have it in a way that the kids kind of have what you would call like centers where they can kind of play in these areas in hopes that It'll help the room stay clean, but also I like to leave the center area very open so that they can get stuff out when they choose to because they like to have playing room. And then also they like to have room to store all their toys whenever they're done playing that they just want to leave out for me to clean, as you saw. So I wanna kinda of walk you through the closet and how it turned out. So I have this big basket in the back and I decided to put stuffed animals in it. And then the smaller baskets have the baby dolls, as you can see here. I kinda of line trucks and stuff along the wall. And then here is that organizer, like the shoe organizer I was telling you about. You see how it works perfect for Barbie dolls? You can just like stuff them in there and then you can see them. Honestly, like I love that idea. I can't remember where I got that and then at the top I put like Legos and blocks and I've labeled those containers and some more board games Okay, the playroom is finally finished and so I'm going to reveal it to y'all now
It's insane to me how much better it looks. And I did rearranging too to kind of make it feel more open. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through it. Over here, I put their little bean bags and the books, and it also sits in front of the TV. I moved the kitchen from over here to there, and then of course put the little doll bed there. And I had the dress up stuff in this corner over here, and I moved it in front of the window. I've never done it like this before. I kind of like it. Honestly, I mix up the playroom. I kind of move things around all the time just to make it feel different and kind of refresh. But I feel like this setup looks really good. So I had this little three bin kind of plastic situation that I got from Walmart that is good to stick toys in, obviously. Um, we need a lot of things for that, <laughs> but it works really good. So they have baby doll stuff in there and just random little toys. And then a basket for the princess dress up shoes and more books. Again, that's the kitchen. And they have some artwork that they hung a while back that I, or they painted the while back that I need to hang. And I think I'm gonna hang it on this wall. This wall's really blank and it just needs something. I thought that would be cute to hang some artwork that they painted. And then let me show you the closet, okay? This is it. It still has a lot in it. Like, y'all saw how much I got rid of, but still they have a ton. And honestly, we could get rid of more. But this was good for today. A very, very good start. But I feel like it's so much more organized and it looks so much better. We'll see how long it lasts. The kids are not home yet. So I'll report back on that. But the goal is to keep it clean. I need to do like a chore list or something, something to motivate them. If y'all have any recommendations on that to get your like kids motivated to clean up their messes, please leave them in the comments and let me know. But all in all, that is the playroom. I'm so glad that it's finished. I'm going to go rest now and get ready. I have to work tomorrow. So I'm glad that I had this marked off of my list of things to do. I got it done and it's taken care of. I don't have to worry about it anymore. But this is how it turned out. I hope y'all liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Again, in the comment section, let me know if you have any recommendations um, or tips and tricks with your kids, like I said, to kind of help them participate in the chores so that it doesn't all fall on us as parents. Um, and anything else that you have nice that you want to say, let me know. Thanks, guys. Until next time, bye.